sometimes you're lucky and you don't have to calculate the equation of the line from two points. They just give you the rate of change and the starting value. So let's think back to the zoo problem. Suppose that after several days of trying, you finally get a hold of someone at the zoo. The person in the zoo office tells you there's a $45 group fee and that student tickets cost $5. Since the $5 tells you how much the total cost goes up for each additional student, that's the rate of change. And since you have to pay the $45 group fee no matter what the size of your group is, that's the starting value. From here, we can simply fill in the blanks to write the model. Our dependent variable, C, equals the rate of change times the independent variable plus the starting value. And if the day of the trip comes and you see that you have 31 students on the bus, you can use this to calculate what the total cost will be before you arrive. You know that it will be $5 for each of those 31 students plus the $45 group fee and 5 times 31 is 155 plus the group fee and we get that the total cost for 31 students will be exactly $200.